Hello, and welcome to our Getting Started webinar. Today we're going to set up some basic but essential mini chat features for a local business that also happens to have a solid e-commerce presence. Your business might be totally different, but that's okay. The goal here is to familiarize you with mini chat and omni-channel marketing, help you shake off some of those new platform jitters, and get you building your flows with confidence. Now, most of you are probably brand new mini chat users, so we'll take things smooth and easy. You might be saying to yourself, oh no, what have I even signed myself up for? Where do I even begin? How am I supposed to use this? How are we, why are we even on the earth? I can answer some of those questions. ManyChat connects you to customers using the mobile devices they use every day, all day, via SMS, email, and the world's most popular messaging platform, Messenger by Facebook. We call that glorious combination of marketing channels, Omnichannel. With ManyChat, you can create all sorts of rad marketing automations, boost conversion rates, recover lost sales, collect reviews, make great bagels, sell products, send coupon codes, and just about anything else. Fletcher Goods is a brick and mortar outdoor equipment store in Sonoma County, California. Think REI, only really local. They've been in business since the early 90s, but when the pandemic hit, their e-commerce site really took off and they've been fulfilling orders from all over the country. It's a really exciting time for them, but it's also a lot to handle. We're gonna use ManyChat to up their game in the short time that we have today. Our e-commerce customers use ManyChat in hugely varied, really interesting and effective ways. But there are a few standout features that everyone seems to agree are especially effective. Okay, the first is our customer chat widget, which sits in the bottom right corner of your website and basically connects web visitors directly to your business's messenger account. That sounds pretty basic, but it opens up a whole host of marketing opportunities. You can automate the chat so that your mini chat bot automatically answers frequently asked questions. You can use it to collect emails and phone numbers to build your contact lists. You can also create interactive product guides. Or if you don't want to automate absolutely everything, you can let customers chat directly to you with the live chat feature. Website visitors don't even need a Facebook account to chat thanks to the guest mode feature, though if they're logged into Facebook, it does make collecting info like name, email, and all that stuff a lot easier. Okay, let's get this show on the road. The customer chat widget is one of our growth tools, which is our category for tools that help you grow your audience or gain subscribers. Head on over to automations on the left-hand side of the screen. Um, we're always updating ManyChat as a platform, so it could be called something else, but we'll try to keep this video up to date as well. So go to flow, hit new flow, then we'll give it a name. Any conversation or flow you build within ManyChat has to start somewhere. There has to be some way for your customer or subscriber to enter into that flow or conversation. And that's what a starting step is. In this case, we'll use as our starting step the trigger, customer chat. Now, the single most important thing you do here is to install the JavaScript snippet. Without this, it just ain't gonna work. So put in your website's domain address and hit add and then next. And head on over to your CMS, your content management system. That could be WordPress, Shopify, Wix, Squarespace, something you've made from scratch. But they'll all have some place that you can paste in a code into your header. So if you're afraid you might explode your website, uh, check with your web developer before you get it over your head. It's a good idea. Fletcher Goods built their website using WordPress and WooCommerce. So we'll head over there to get this done. Log into the back end. Now in WordPress, for example, you can do all the code wizardry of embedding the code directly into your theme files, or you can be lazy like me and find a plugin like insert headers and footers where you can just very easily paste in that code from ManyChat and hit save. Here we go, we're gonna do a little test. Um, we're gonna double check that everything was installed correctly. So put in your address, hit check. And boom, in our case, we happen to do things just fine. And that is fine and dandy, of course. But in the off chance that it didn't work for you, you're gonna to wanna to look closely at the feedback the widget checker provides. Um, again, if it's way over your head, you don't understand exactly how to address the issues you're seeing, Head on over to our support page for help. You can submit a support ticket. Uh, visit the ManyChat community page on Facebook or ask your favorite web developer, Wizard, for that little extra bit of help. 
So now we have the widget installed, but not much smarts behind the scenes. It's all looks and no brains. Luckily, we can really easily remedy that. Let's build some automation and connect it all up. So we're back in the automation tab, having left our starting step. So flows are our way of building the series of chat options you offer your visitors. Um, you connect text blocks, images, buttons, and conditions. It's like building blocks or writing a choose your own adventure novel where the reader's choice changes the outcome. I think you'll better understand what I mean once we get started. So I wanna give web visitors three options. Joining Fletcher Goods email newsletter or SMS insider list, getting store hours and the address, or chatting directly with a human. First, we'll enter some welcome text. And make sure we've got a great grabby image there up top. Everyone likes a good button. Each button represents a dialogue choice you offer your customer. And you can connect buttons to all sorts of other content blocks. This will be like our newsletter sign-up launcher here. Got a great image, got my text, and I'll set up the email sign-up button first. All right, I'm gonna connect up the email sign-up and here in this block, we're using a mini chat pro feature called user input to make this experience smoother for the user. But if you're still on a mini chat free account, you can choose to have them into their email manually. And here we can just save the email to a system field. And it's super important that we let mini chat know that these people have opted in to receive email from us. It's our way of basically keeping you accountable so you'll always want to do this. And obviously when you're email marketing, you want to have that email opt out. It could be an unsubscribe button in your email, but that unsubscribe button could also lead someone back into a flow here in mini chat where we set the email opt out action. Okay. And then I'm going to have it basically say, thanks for giving us your email and we'll have a button that'll point them right back to the start. We'll just give it a nice loop. Now we're gonna do the same exact thing for our SMS insider list, right? Once again, we'll need to set an action here to receive consent to send messages to our customers via SMS, which is the action called set SMS opt-in. Do not forget to do this. Okay, so we're now collecting phone numbers and email addresses. Uh, that data is connected to the customer's entry over in the audience tab. You can either send your customers emails and SMS directly from ManyChat, integrate with your MailChimp account for email, or send all that info over to a Google Sheet. I'd recommend sending SMS or email right from ManyChat. That way it's a lot easier and simpler to have an omni-channel marketing plan. Now let's head over and set up the hours and address button. Super easy. And we are going to send a message and I'll punch this in, put in their hours. I'm going to connect this button to the Google Maps URL for this specific address. Once again, like Fletcher Goods is not a real business, so don't go there, that'd be weird. 
Um, I'm going to put in a screenshot I took of the address on Google Maps. And you'll see again that I'm labeling this content block. I like to do this to keep things tidy. And also, if I go back to a flow months later, I'll have a better idea of what exactly is going on. OK, and lastly, we're going to set up that talk to a human button. So what you'll see me doing here is using a MiniChat Pro feature called Notify Admins. This feature is great because you can specify which of the admins of your MiniChat account receive notifications that someone uh, really wants to chat with them directly. If you're a MiniChat free user, you can use the Mark Conversations as open. So you'll have to check in periodically to see if anyone's there asking to live chat. It's not as convenient, but it is one of those things that differentiates the pro account level from the free. So I had this idea that, you know, after someone has asked to talk to a human being, you know, it might take a little bit for you to hop on your phone and start chatting away with them. So why not encourage them to check out the Fletcher Goods product catalog? Um, but you could really get savvy here and, you know, quiz the customer as they wait. Keep them engaged. Um, really think of different ways you might want to maintain someone's interest while they wait for a um, real person to come along. So we'll put in a button, you know, browse catalog. You never know, they might want to. And when the button's pressed, it'll be a website. There we go, looking good. Once again, I'm gonna label things. Just hey, I'm a compulsive labeler, added an image. Really, the, the more images and emojis and stuff you use in your messages, the better. People seem to really respond to that kind of thing. So it looks like our flow is all connected. Hit publish. I should say if you haven't set something up right, that button is not going to work. But it will tell you what you need to go back in and fix. So we'll take a look. Click on your starting step. Double check that you've uh, hit the toggle button there to enable your customer chat widget. It might be turned off. OK, so our flows find and dandy. We've published. Now we're going to head over to Fletcher Goods' website, refresh, and confirm we didn't make horrible mistakes. And it works. It's almost as if I know what I'm doing. That was fun, but I'll be honest, we've barely scratched the surface of what you can do with MiniChat. And what you do now is all up to you. You've got basically infinity options how to proceed, but I do have some parting tips. Messenger or ref URLs. This is a fancy name for something pretty simple. Ref URLs are just links that go directly to individual messenger flows. So you could give someone a link that dives directly into a flow that collects customer feedback or one that qualifies leads for your team. You can use them anywhere. People love the Facebook comments growth tool. Basically, you have ManyChat monitor a post on your business Facebook page for a specific keyword. If someone replies to that post with that keyword, they immediately get prompted to chat with your mini chat bot. It's a fantastic way to boost engagement on your Facebook posts. I'm sure you have loads of questions and ideas, so be sure to check out our knowledge base, our free video course, the mini chat blog, and join our Facebook community page. If this all seems a little bit too much for you, check out our agency listings on our homepage. Okay, friends, get out there and get building.